Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I know I said I'd upload a video every Tuesday and Friday, so here it is. <laughs> Today we're actually gonna be working on collision detection with circles. We're gonna do a quick demonstration of Pythagorean's theorem and conditionals. So stay tuned and we'll go ahead and get started. And of course, my videos wouldn't be videos without the free music from YouTube's audio library. So on that note, cue the music. <laughs> Okay, so I already have Visual Studio Code open and I copied a previous project that I made in one of my previous videos. You can check out the card above and that should take you right to it to get us set up to where we are. Also in there, in our script tag, I went ahead and added a circle class which has a constructor, basic um, inputs, x, y, radius, and color. And that'll go ahead and just call a draw function for us. Then I go ahead and make two objects from that class, ball and player and they are positioned, uh, the ball is positioned at the middle of the screen and our player follows our mouse uh, with this event listener right here on mouse move which just sets the player X and Y. To show this working, I'm actually gonna, gonna go ahead and open this with live server. There we go, that is our project right here. So basically we have two circles moving on the screen and we wanna see if we can get them to do something when we collide with the circles. So the first thing I'm actually going to go ahead and do is make a distance function. So we're just going to write function distance, then we're just going to take in four values, x1, a y1, an x2, and a y2. Then Pythagorean's theorem is a squared plus b squared equals c squared, and the c is equal to our distance. That is the hypotenuse length. So in order to get our x distance, or a value, we're just going to say let a equal x2 minus x1. And that'll get our a value for us. Then we're going to say let b equal y2 minus y1. And that'll get us our b value or y distance. Then we're going to say let c equal, and remember c is equal to a squared plus b squared. Well, c is actually, c squared is equal to a squared plus c squared. So, to get c, we actually need to say the square root of a squared plus b squared, which is just math.sqrt, and then inside of there, we're going to go ahead and put math.pow, and I'll explain what this does in a minute, math.pow, and then math.pow, so math.pow is actually just basically saying a, uh, it raises the, va the first value, which is your number a, and then to the power you want to raise it to is our second parameter, so a squared. Um, so this basically says a squared plus b squared, the square root of a squared plus b squared equals c. And then we're going to go ahead and just return that value c. Awesome. And that is our function made. Now we're actually going to go ahead and use this function in an if statement. So we're just going to say if the distance between ball.x and ball.y and player.x and player.y is less than, uh, we'll say ball.radius plus player dot radius because if you want to see if these actually have collided we're actually just taking the radius the radii I guess of both of them adding them together and then if the distance is less than that then that means we have collided does that make sense so two circles the radius or the radius and add them together and now if our if they're that distance between them is shorter then they have collided so if this happens, if the distance is shorter than both the radii, then we've collided. So what are we going to do? Well, I just say we swap the colors. So what we're going to say is we're just going to say ball.color is going to be equal to tomato. And we'll say player.color is equal to deep sky blue. Okay, and then now if they haven't collided, we actually want to make the colors switch back. So we're just going to say else, I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste this down here. And then we can just go ahead and swap these. Awesome, and let's just go ahead and open up our project here. And bam, there you go. 
that's all it is and we've collided and you can see that they are changing colors as we intersect which is exactly what we want and that's how you do collision detection awesome thank you guys so much for watching make sure you comment down below smash that subscribe button join the discord follow me on facebook instagram twitter check out my website i got them all stay tuned let me know if you have any questions or any other videos i should explain and uh i'll get right on it i'll see you guys in the next video